Hey there, so today we have another review. Uh, skip ahead to the review if you like, but uh, a few couple things. Uh, well, first off, made a stop at GB. Uh, been a few months, uh, <laughs> so good thing. I have a bunch of uh, videos, uh, new content coming for you guys. Uh, this is Fontoflora, so I guess you can't, yeah, you can't really see that. All you see is medicine. Um, this is pretty cool brewery. Uh, it's actually a brewery. I definitely, I feel like I've had beer from them before, but I've definitely never reviewed it for you guys. Um, strangely enough, their like third most popular beer on Untapped. It's actually called Darwin's Forehead, and it actually like has a picture of Charles Dar uh, Darwin on there. Blah blah some stuff on it, and it's like a salted porter. <laughs> um, I, honestly, I saw it on the shelf. I or haven't. I've seen it on the shelf. Uh, if I see it, maybe I'll get it, get it next time. But a uh, pretty big situation out of uh, where were they out of uh, uh, North Carolina, Nebo, North Carolina. So they have a location, actual Charlotte. Um, there, there's one in uh, Morgantown, which is actually like somewhat of a town. And then they have like I believe this location, which is like truly a farmhouse brewery kind of thing, uh, like a Vermont kind of style, like straight hour outside of Asheville, like middle of nowhere kind of to do. Um, just acres and acres, you know, just like, you know, that kind of like picnic tables and nothing, right? And well, obviously they have a tap room, but like you're, it's not in anywhere. You're just, it's a destination. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, like, actually the, the wild stuff actually comes here. So if you guys recommend it, maybe I'll splurge some money and like just like pull the trigger and buy one, you know. The, the channel's not really gonna pay for it, but you know, maybe it'll be a treat for myself. But yeah, I'm excited to review first font of floor for you guys. It is at season. So, medicine, and they give you no information on this, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, looks like a medicine. Comes in a deep gold color. It's actually pretty pale for a medicine. A lot of, a lot of the medicines come, like, way darker. So, uh, but d definitely darker than a fest beer. Um, actually, like, on the edge of, like, a dark fest beer, but, like, on light, it's like, it's like a light medicine, right? Um, looks pretty good. Nice clarity on that. Slightly off-white head. Yeah. Nice, just toasted chestnuts, a little bit of nuttiness, light kind of. Um, it, it's all the nuts, like toasted nuts all, all day. It's like hazelnut, a um, little bit of this grainy sweetness too. So it's actually not super, super to, like toasty all the way. A little bit of light toasted bread on there, like a light toasted brioche kind of thing. Um, some grainy malt sweetness, but like, again, like the color is not actually as deep and uh, toasty and, and, and rich and Maillardy as a lot of other medicines. Like, full blind, I would have a hard time guessing this was medicine. I would probably guess Vest beer. See, that tastes like Vest beer to me. <laughs> um, okay. Traditional and toasty autumnal lager, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, man, that tastes like a Vest beer to me. Um, very nice. Rounded malt sweetness. Um, hides this alcohol pretty well, 5.6%. Nice. Just tameness. Just really nice lager qualities going on. A little bit of this kind of like light, like orange marmalade ester thing, which is quite nice. Uh, nice toastiness throughout the palate. A little bit of nuttiness. A little of this, this kind of like nut skin thing, right? When you um, have toasted nuts, there's like that, like... Uh, uh, peanut skin and the the, the 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 hazelnut skin, right? Like all the after you crack the shell, there's like skin underneath, a little bit of that kind of uh, toasty character. Very nice, very nice. Um, again, I would not. Maybe I just need to recalibrate my palate, but I would not categorize this as medicine. This really tastes like fast beer to me. Um, even the toastiness, I'm like really stretching. It really is just mostly light, grainy character. Uh, a little bit of elevated alcohol, really clean lager characteristics, um, a little bit of sweet breadiness in there. I also get a little bit of this kind of like floral herbal hop character right in the middle, but then glides away quite nicely. Beautifully, um, nice kind of like lingering uh, light grainy character, which too much comes off as stringency, but I sort of like having a little bit of it on the palate. Yeah, whatever. They categorize it, they categorize it. But this is a very good lager. Um, come, come to think of it, this is my only second, like, Oktoberfest-style beer uh, outside of the Sierra Nevada. The Sierra Nevada, I would argue, is a little bit more sharp. Definitely way more hoppy and bitter. And just less tame than this. I actually really like how tame this is. And it's sort of, honestly, like, drinks a little bit more, quote-unquote, German to me. In the sense that, like, 
the Sierra Nevada, I would find, has like a more of an American kind of thing to it where it has more impact. But this is like you put in a Stein and like y- y- you don't even want to think about it. You just, you know, you just keep going at it, right? Like the half, half a liter, bang. And that's the goal, honestly, right? That's the goal of uh, uh, making these beers. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really see anywhere where this is medicine. Like it just really doesn't have that. Like the nuttiness lightly is there, but doesn't at any point have that like length of toast and richness. Um, then again, the American medicine is a very exaggerated. Um, maybe I just need to recalibrate my palate. So this is, <laughs> I the point is I don't know where my palate's at these days because again I don't really drink this stuff. Um, that frequently comes up only once a year. I only have like a few, uh, and then the American uh, version is all, all all exaggerated. So you really have to find the great um, German examples like uh, Haka. Uh, what's my favorite? Einga, Einga. Um, this is very good. Uh, Ninety four. No shoot. Ninety five. This is really good. Fanta Floro. If you get this, check it out. Like, if you're in the Oktoberfest season and don't like the dark, toasty, rich, rich, rich stuff, get this one. Cheers.